before the video starts, I would like to let you guys know I have a Discord server of my own. So feel free to check it out in the description down below and the pinned comment. Thank you. 98462 is a British Blue Steam Tender locomotive and was one of many background characters who were just complete jobbers. In the books, he was nothing but a mere bully and an asshole. But when Solo Dark Times and NW Origins became popular, fans have now turned him into Dark Edgy 98462. So there's a popular authorization of 98462 that's very popular, known as Alfred the B12. Ever since his debut in Solo Dark Times and the popularization of NW Origins, him being 98462 is forced to be fact by a bunch of kids who blindly believe this and not look at the Rory series books, Odd's letters, or even the iOS book. Now, I'm going to go over why 98462 is a B12 named Alfred is so heavily false to the point where 98462 might as well not exist. Now, let's see where these kids get the idea from and why they take this as canon. Back in the early days of YouTube, Thomas fan content was a very big thing back then, with viewers like Walt Norwester having a following of his own, and even creating his own series known as Sodor, the early years and modern years. Back in the day, whether it was trains or wooden railway, these mediums used to make Thomas fan stories would give off a feeling that it's like the official media, that it is an actual Thomas film or series and that there wasn't much of a difference between it and the official media, like the classics and even the CGI series. As a result, since people could not tell the difference between fan content and the official media, they assumed that, oh, this is canon. And this is where I get to a certain creator. Thomas 1, Edward 2, and Henry 3. A user who has gained over 50k subscribers after a few years on YouTube. And he plays a major role of how people think 98462 is Alfred the B12. Looking at his most popular videos, we can see that his second most popular video is Revenge of the Ghost Train. And his fifth popular video was NW Origins Episode 5, The Disgrace of the LNER. Now, the popularity of these two videos contribute to how people think Alfred is 98462. Now, keep in mind, his audience are literally either 12 year olds or adults who do not know about the Railway series and only had seen, like, the classics. Since they've only seen the classics, watched his videos, and not read a single RWS book, they've been taking his NW Origin videos, as well as his Alfred Ghost Train videos as pure fact. This suggests, as I said before, they have never read a single railway series book, or even bothered to look at the iOS book, It's People, History, and Railways. And they have only stayed around like fan content and the TV show because deep down, they are just too lazy to do research or to look into the letters written to and by Audrey. Now, Okay, I'm done getting into the why and somewhat cooking these Alpha fans alive. Let's get into why Alfred is not 98462, or why 98462 is not a whole freaking B12. Hence the illustrations we'll be using to represent in my next point. Now, here's why 98462 cannot be a B12 or a B16, which I'll get into later on in the video with the B16 part, but right now let's focus on the B12 for now. So here, I have two photos in front of me, side by side. One is the illustration with 98462, and another is a photo of a real-life B12. Now, uh, let's get into the annotation. So, in the illustration of 98462, we can see he has a sloped running board. The B12's running board is more flat, and only slopes when coming to the first wheel arch. Even in the next illustration, 98462 still remains a sloped running board. And in this illustration, we see he has gained outside cylinders. Which proves even more that people claiming him as a B12 is very false. Now with this information, you think that he's an LNER B16 by Vincent Raven. Well, you might not be correct. I mean like sure, the B16 has outside cylinders. But there's just one glaring issue. And it's that the B16's running board is very curved rather than sloped. Also, also, also. If you take a closer look at 98462's valve gear in this very illustration, you may notice that it's not simplified like the B16, and that it looks similar to those of Gresley's A1, Mr. Hughes' Class 8, and Stanier's Black 5. Hell, even Fowers' Patriots. 
And if you look back on the B16, it has a more simplified valve gear. And even looking at this illustration, we can see that 9A462's running board is slightly the same height as Gordon's, which means the B16 is disqualified, as well as the B12 being nullified as 9A462. Technicalities aside, let's get to his background. Now, even after explaining the technicalities, you would think 9A462's actual name is still Alfred. Well, my friend, you are wrong on that as well, and here's why. According from the wiki, which I recommend taking a grain of salt from, it said that a kid named Ross from New Zealand wrote a letter to Audrey asked about the blue unnamed engines, where Audrey gave an explanation that there were root engines that were on trial and sent away, and that both their numbers were 9A462 and 87546. Notice how there was no mention of their name, since they were characters that were inserted by William Milton and Reginald Dalby, well, most because both of them didn't give a shit. Their insertion being true is confirmed when Audrey confirmed that their numbers were 87546 and 98462. And guess what? There was no mention of their names or what their actual basis were. Before I move on to my next point, I want to talk about one specific person in general that many people disregard when claiming that 98462 is Alfred, let alone a B12. The man himself, the Reverend W. Audrey. See, the very notion that people fail to understand about Audrey when they claim that 98462 is Alfred, let alone him blowing himself up, <laughs> is that Audrey would never write that into his books, let alone an engine trying to unalive two other engines <laughs> because that's too much for his audience to handle, especially at the time when writing the railway series. This one line set by Audrey on the BBC pretty much speaks for itself. Who'd you write it for? Well, when you're writing a children's book, you're writing for a whole lot of people. You're writing for yourself uh, to make sure that you've got it researched right. You're writing for the unfortunate parents who've got to read it aloud time after time after time after time. You've got to put in little funny bits, subtle bits, which they'll enjoy. And then, then there's the, the simple slapstick stuff which the child will enjoy. This man and what he said is the full definition of putting yourself in someone else's shoes. Something sadly that these alpha fans will never understand or ever do. All because they want 9842 to blow them up for the sake of shock value. 